we just made this six foot tall blanket ladder <laughs> for 15 bucks in about two hours and we used a bunch of crazy tools you gotta see what I did with this bike chain and we'll show you how we did it right now what is up welcome back do you like to do a builder to make it so do we and we do it every week <laughs> this week we're making a ladder for some blankets a blanket ladder they're too short you need to get a little higher it's a decorative accent and we're going to put it in our family room and we're going to make the blanket oh, yeah. in a separate video we're making the blanket next week <laughs> can't wait step one we're going to gather all of our supplies this one is a really easy shopping list too we just needed two six foot one by fours and an eight foot one by four with some paints or stains, whatever you want to use. <laughs> Step two. Now we're going to make all of our cuts. Our cuts are real easy. We're just making four 20 inch planks. Super easy. I'm going to use my little speed square to keep my saw straight. Step three, now we're gonna assemble it. We're just gonna use some glue and a one and a quarter inch brad, set the top rung eight and a half inches down, and then 11 inches for each one after that. Yep. I'm using the speed square to square up the boards to make sure the rest will be straight. Right, there's our ladder. That's what we got so far. Step four. Now we're gonna beat it up. We're gonna distress it. We got a bunch of weapons. I mean tools. We got a bike chain, a hammer, a drill bit. Uh, well, my little poker tool, my cricket poker tool. A cricket poker tool. <laughs> a screwdriver, a screw. Now we're just going to kind of hit it, make some butterflies, the hammer like they missed the nail. And they're horrible with nail. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I think so. It did more damage than I thought it was going to do. <laughs> I like it though. It looks good. Do it again, like, but a different angle. Oh, yeah. There you go. I like it. Some more <laughs> 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 okay, 
Okay, next step would be just to slightly sand any gouged areas that might be sticking up so that it just doesn't give you a splinter or something. All the distressing we need. So far. Step five. This is where we get into the meat of it. This is where we do our staining and painting. We did some experimenting. And by we, I mean Kim did some experimenting. <laughs> so I thought I would show you, because I came up with three different boards with very different techniques and looks to them. But I, I actually like them all, but we're going to obviously narrow it down to one. So for this one, if you can zoom in and see that up close. Oh. This is the Annie Sloan French linen paint that we've been using lately with this dark wax, this bare dark antique wax over it. Makes it look dirty. Well, I don't think it looks dirty. I think it looks a cool antique color. He thinks, obviously he thinks that that one looks dirty. Looks dirty. <laughs> All right, so this board actually started with this light trellis gray. So Bear offers a chalk paint. We just got this at Home Depot and had it started with the white base and had them tint it this tr really light trellis gray. And then I added the dark wax onto this one and it gave it a really neat color and look. Yeah, I like that. Looks neat. And then the third board has two options on it or two techniques on it. First, I stained the stained the whole board Jacobean, Jacobian, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> and then on half of it, the top half here, I added white wax over top of the stain and gave it kind of a grayish, I don't know, hazy it kind look. Of cool. yeah, it gives it like a. I like how that wax get caught in the. Yeah, I left the, the gouges yeah. are more white. I do, mm -hmm. I like that too. I like that. And then the bottom half, I started with the Jacko Bean stain and added the trellis gray paint on top and then just sanded it and distressed it. But I didn't really let that stain dry very long. I didn't let it dry for hours. I really let it dry for probably 10 minutes before I added the paint and I let the paint dry and then just started sanding it. So I did the whole thing in like 15 minutes. And I think that's the look we're going to yeah. go with. I think we're going to try to do the bottom one again. Top one looks cool, just with the wax. But I think the bottom one looks like rustic and worn. And that's the, that's the look I like. All right. So if that's what we're going with, then we're going to start with some dark stain. Now, after I told you I used Jacko Bean on my test piece, I don't have enough Jacko Bean. We are. We are out. We are running low. We are down to nubbins. <laughs> so we're going to use this Kona and I think it's going to give us pretty much the same look. Nobody freak out. It's going to give us the same look. <laughs> All right. All right. You want to stain and I'll wipe? Okay. Well, it's going to set for a minute. I guess. Yeah, I guess we can get like half of it done. You can wipe it and I can mm -hmm. start on the second half. Deal. touch it seems okay all right we just went over it with the heat gun for a minute and now we're going to paint it Where's the paint? right here we're going to use this bare chalk paint in this trellis gray oh, yeah. now we're not going to get crazy with the paint we don't want to get in all that distressing that we've already done we just want to kind of paint it paint it normally don't try to goop it in there Right, that's what we got so far. 
Almost done. Looks like a really bad paint job, but yeah. I think after we distress it, you'll see really the beauty. Pop. Pop. We'll give it some five minutes to dry. Yep. Just want to dry enough to touch. Right. Step six. Now we're going to give it a little more distressing with the sandpaper. We let it dry for like 15 minutes. Do you want to show them up close? Dry. See if you can show them what the paint really looks like. So it's not perfectly painted. It's just like I said, a bad paint job for right now. <laughs> yeah, who does the bad paint jobs now, Kim? What is this? 120? Little 120? Little 60? Alright, that's what we got. Not too bad, huh? Only took a couple of minutes. We got ourselves a new ladder for our blankets. So I'm so pleased. <laughs> it's gonna look so nice. What one do I have on my phone? We are all ready to do final shots and intro. And Kim decided that it needs a stencil. Don't you think it needs a little stencil right here? It's gonna look great. So we were done. <laughs> Just five minutes, babe. It'll take back. five minutes. Back on, back at it. Eventually. Step eight. <laughs> Step eight, we're gonna add a stencil. So I'm using the Cricut app right from my phone. I couldn't find a good font, so I just downloaded an SVG off the web, imported it in here. Um, I decided I wanted it about 12 and a half inches wide, so we're gonna have to use this long mat. I selected vinyl. And now we can press the flash and go button. <laughs> you didn't quite get it lined up with the Grid. <laughs> I was down, I was in. <laughs> okay, so we weeded it and put our transfer tape on it. So now we're just going to add it to the front of our ladder. We're just going to hit it with a little bit of Mod Podge to seal it so it doesn't bleed when we paint it. bit of that white Waverly. <laughs> so it's my idea to put the stencil on, but he's going to do all the work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought you wanted to keep busy. So worth it. I feel like cuddling now. Fifteen bucks, 
two hours, save yourself a whole lot of money. Now we gotta make a, a big chunky blanket for next week. Right? It needs, it's screaming, I need a chunky blanket. <laughs> If you guys like this week's project, hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, we do this every week. Or something like it. Yeah. <laughs> and until next week, why don't you guys check out a video right here. Or maybe Kim's video. Either <laughs> one. They're pretty sweet. We'll see you guys next week.